ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 108. First, going to start by talking Manchester United versus Liverpool. As a Manchester United fan, I'm not really looking forward to talking about it or watching the game at all. We're then going to discuss the rest of the Premier League, round it up, see what's happening. We're going to look at sickening insights in uh, Bulgaria. Is that the, what it's called? We're going to have a reflect. We're going to have a little reflect on Wales and the national team. And the state of play there. Yes. Oh, yes. Reopen the doors to Kind Club. Okay. So, thank you very much. Have you got anything else to add? Music. Right. Yep. Go on then. Let's come on then. Come on let's, then. Let's let's step into Luke's sordid little grief hole of United. Manchester United versus Liverpool. No one's expecting a miracle. What's going to stop you from actually potentially getting results? They could slaughter us. Yeah, but Rashi could get on it from oh. left. From left, you know, live the dream. I'd love to think that's that oh, is just an option them up. Martial I, gets back in. I don't. Is he back in? Rashford. <laughs> We've got Marcus Rashford. So I'm saying Rashford. And right. we've got Daniel James. Can we, yeah, I mean, I, I never thought I'd say this is a Man United fan, but can we talk more Liverpool? Because I don't want to talk United. Liverpool, arguably now, I'd suggest the best fullbacks in Europe. I do not see any hope at all for wow. Manchester United. Hmm. That Liverpool squad is so good. This is the game, which I always say, it's the biggest game for me in Europe. It's huge, Liverpool versus Man United. Can you say that again? I do. I think it's the biggest, I think it's the biggest rivalry in Europe. At least up there with El Clasico and... You know, River Bocker. It's up there. If you're listening rivalry. to this, let, just if there's any others. <laughs> right, yeah. That's, this is you've a made he- it sound official. I, I think it's the, what, a massive game in Europe. I think it's the biggest game in Europe. I do think Liverpool will, will storm it. Do you think. Do you see any other results? I don't know. Liverpool I just think win? you're very negative to your body language, to your tone. I'm Maybe very, you'll snatch something. It's Man United. Do you know what I mean? Just I just can't get ex- will to enthusiastic live. about them. I really can't. Um, we'll snatch something and everyone will be like, yeah. Can you honestly see Man United getting a result against Liverpool right now? I think there's been stranger stranger things that have happened so far. Yeah, Maybe I mean, this could be an integral part. If there is something integral, how, how are fans going to react? There's no, there's no good, is there? There's no win. Yeah. Who, well, Man, be no, no Man City even if they lost. Even if they win against Liverpool, they'll, they'll still have the United negatives. In yeah, full flow, wouldn't it? So that's pretty depressing thinking that, knowing that, right? No one's ever had. Give me three positives about United. Daniel James, Aaron Wan Bazaka, and Ollie. People have died because they've gone back out and played sport with a concussion. And it's like, he got knocked unconscious, I don't care if he's passed his test. He was unconscious a minute ago. He should be off. Let's have a look at the other Premier League games and we've let's dissected a, United a, Liverpool. A whip through. Let's dissect the rest. Dun, 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 dun. But West Ham are having a very good season and Everton are not. I can see a West Ham away win here at Goodison. Bournemouth, Norwich. I think that'll be a barnstormer. Yeah, Bournemouth, Norwich could because Norwich need to get back onto the wagon. Big fan of Eddie Howe's training methods. And, and Ed, Eddie Howe generally, really. How we oh, yeah, we're huge Howe fans. Shout out, please. Shout out. Callum Wilson is on fire this Shout season. Shout out, please. Shout out. Harry Wilson. Yeah, they've, re- they've, look, they've got all the Wilsons. They're Brooks, four. Norwich, Norwich need to bounce Norwich back. Norwich needs to bounce back. Yeah, that's they a, do. That's the section there. Okay. Right, right, no, right down. Quick, let's get it. Norwich. Norwich. Are bouncing back. Are bouncing back. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you are yeah, paraphrasing yeah. there, there but are. I will write that down. So right. Okay. Can I move on to another fixture yes. that I'm quite looking forward to seeing? Uh, Leicester vs. Burnley. Big Leicester fan. Yeah, Leicester a he- really good side. Chris Wood's going to score though. So. No, I see Leicester winning it. Leicester, Leicester maybe squeaking a one 0 I think Chelsea win though. I think it's Chelsea three one maybe three 0 An Arsenal side which have been far better than people have been giving them credit for. It's Monday night in Sheffield. Yeah, I see what you mean. Gwendozy's not going to be one in that, is he? So for God's sake. On a wet when it's, it's a, a wet it's a wet, wet Monday. Monday. Worse than a Wednesday. Yeah, it's a wet Monday night. It's a start of week. Monday Monday's and you're like, oh, Sean Bean liked it. But yeah, I think this is an interesting shout me. Bulgaria versus England was marred by ridiculous, antiquated 
not needed in 2019 opinions. Because what can you actually do to that team? It's like fine them, get everyone to resign. The never, ever, 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 ever play competition football again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. respect. No respect for your for yeah. I don't think it was an ITV jumper. I think it was just from a screen grab of where it says ITV. Is that right? No, because it's on the other side. No, it probably was an ITV jumper. <laughs> I love the way your brain works. Columbo. <laughs> I really do. Which way is the ITV logo? I'm not. I don't watch TV. I don't know what which way the ITV logo. Regardless, look, you're Left drifting right. well off the subject there. And Raheem Sterling again, you know, Raheem silence him in the best way that you know is by scoring favorite. and assisting. Our favourite. Raheem Sterling Raheem. is incredible. More gold from the hottest property in YouTube. Come on then, let's go look at some sheds, some kind of rape thing. We got a man or a woman to come in and give us some advice on whether or not the chimney works or not. For the bottom bit of the mower. Uh, the grass goes in, so the mowing thing goes over the grass, but it puts it in there. Oh, well. Player, My favourite players, apart from Gary, Gary Bay. Yeah. Gary Bay Bay. Gary Bay. Uh, my three faves were Dan James. Yeah. I like Harry Wilson, but my, my key player, my top player, mm. Kiefer Moore. Unbelievably useful. He's sort of reverting back to a, like a lumbering forward. I love it. Like, he is such a handful and provides yeah. three fundamental things that Wales wouldn't needed and there's no one else that can play that role so an attacking force doesn't lose a header doesn't lose a header Not stick it up to, hit Les stick it up to big man so you're either getting like he wins a header he yeah. has a fleck on he gets fouled Les and wins a, wins a free kick mm. in dangerous areas yeah. or he, like he, he gives a foul away but you're going to get that but most of the time you'll win a header bell goal the bell goal was technically astute if you watch it keep watching it just understand how difficult that, that skill actually is I think they, they'll do it I genuinely do because I hope of they that, do Look, I'd love to see him qualify automatically spirit. I'd love to see him qualify automatically but I'd also just love to see him qualify like I want him back in a tournament key for more <laughs> well. hello I'm Sydney and welcome to my kind corner Right, here we are again, opening the doors. That's the doors, there, of Kind Club. Basically, it's where we highlight the positives of football because we think this uh, world at the minute is very negative and we don't necessarily like it a lot of the time. Um, we think it could do with a bit more positivity. So we shine a light on those, po those positive moments in football. Um, this week's an exciting week because... We have now, this, this section has now got its own sponsor, Kindness Matters Cardiff, which is at Kind Cardiff on Twitter. What's their sort of they are, triangle? They want to create, um, what's the best way of putting it, a hub of kindness. So keep an eye on them, follow them, Kind Cardiff. Club. Let's go in now, into Kind Club. You paid your, your admission me. with kindness. There's my ticket. Thank there. you, just check. Go on then, what's your first one? Coventry. Coventry. Coventry's two-tone kit. Yes, it was lovely. I loved it that was kit. Lovely. Explain well. to me what the two tone kit was about the black and white. It was the black and scar white scar movement. It was scar movement. It was, it's the iconic symbol. So it's a black and white kit with, yeah. with the iconic symbol on, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, a kick it out logo. As kick well, it out logo. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a great thing. So yeah, Coventry City. That is a. a it's a very beautiful welcome. kit. Alvarez for Athle at Athletic. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Alvarez at Athletic uh, was diagnosed with cancer, sadly. Uh, he came, went into the first team dressing room, was shepherded in, and saw the rest of the squad, the entire squad, have all shaved their heads. If that doesn't get into Kind Club, nothing will. Yeah, they've all shaved their heads, and he was, he was so taken back by the, the gesture and it was beautiful to see. Glorious. So welcome into Kind Club Alvarez, welcome into Kind Club Athletic. And we'll top it all off. Yeah, top it off. With a big old slice. Yes, I love it. Of Jermaine Jennis. Well, veganism in football. He did. I don't he know did. if you posed the question, is it taken over? But it's just a, <laughs> it's a, it is a, a great it's thing. Off day the back of the of for vegans. Chris Smallin <laughs> making it into into Kind Club with his veganism. Yeah, he's already off the back of that. Have a look. Chris Small is coming. What do you think? Chris Small is going to... Because it's raised a debate. So far in Kind Club, we've had Liverpool, which Chris Small didn't really like, to be honest. He has a bit of an issue. We've also let in... Who else did we let Who was the first one that we let in? We've let in all sorts into Kind Club. Chris then Small in... Netanyahu. We didn't let him in, not yet. Kind know. Club is a hub like of activity. It's busy right now. But it that, is that, busy. That, there, are, there are a few Just others. Just Coventry City. 
Yeah. An athletic. Yeah. Lo- and Jermaine. And Jermaine Jennings. Big old slice. Man- Throw that down. Man- Big old slice. Big. Of, yeah. Old slice. Old uh, O L of Jermaine. Old. Jennings. That's written bracket, down there. In bracket in- parentheses. There we are. Right, that's all written that's, that's Right, so yeah, thanks again. Thank you very much at Kind Cardiff for sponsoring yes. this week. And in future weeks, and please, you know, support Why them. Not? November 22nd is a wonderful thing to get involved in. We're very pleased to be aligned with it. So yeah, mm-hmm. you get involved too. Oh, I like that section. Oh, well. <laughs> Outro time. Outro time. Outro time. So we are off to Australia. We, if you follow us on um, a touchline rant at a touchline rant on Twitter or at a touchline rant on Instagram, you will have seen that we are off to do a few shows in Australia now. People of Australia, we are coming. You know where we're playing. You know where to get tickets. That's that so. uh, again. If you want to support the wallets, we've got kits. Yeah, we got kit, um, CSKA, Sapphire Gardens. If you buy a kit, then your five pound will go to the wallet. Yeah, it's all profit made from these shirts. One hundred percent of the profit made from the shirts will go to the wallet. Yep. Kindness matters. Cardiff at Kind Cardiff. Yeah, we Thank pose the question this week: Who is going to get caught gambling next week? That's what we. That's what we've got. Uh, we, we're gambling. Who will it be? At the moment, Madison again is three to one odds. Skulls five to one. Shopper's coming through at the back, ten to one as well. See you next week, Australia. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Well, yeah.